Ever heard of Assets School? I, I, everybody's heard about it. I don't think a lot of people know exactly what it is. I didn't until several years ago when uh, I knew people who actually used Asset School. It's for gifted students and students with language-based learning dif- difficulties, like dyslexia or something like that. Assets has been around a long time. Paul Singer is the head of school. Paul, how, when was Assets started? 65 years ago. So it was a 21st century school way before its time. Absolutely, long before the 21st century. Okay, so what's, uh, what's the major premise there at Assets? Well, uh, the major premise is that s- smart kids learn differently. Yeah. We often say in all, uh, great minds don't think or learn alike, mm-hmm. and we have a school filled with great minds, but they're wired a little bit differently than most, uh, which means we don't have any cookie-cutter kids at Assets. So no typical student there. Uh, some uh, some could be gifted. Some could yeah. have... A, a, we have a, a variety. Many are, are gifted human beings, in fact, most in one way or the other. But yeah. we also have kids that, along with their gifts, have specific challenges like ADHD or dyslexia or mild Asperger's syndrome, okay. things like that. All right. So kids who don't fit the mold, kids like Einstein, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Got yeah. it. Uh, so these are the kids who go on to be innovators and artists and thought leaders. And you guys are, because they're wired different, you're wired different. That's absolutely true, and that's what actually brought me to Assets in the first place. When I had an opportunity to visit the school, I saw 350 kids that reminded me of myself. <laughs> and there you go. Hey, uh, yesterday, was it yesterday, big day in the school history? Yesterday was huge. We had a groundbreaking. We're in the midst of creating a kindergarten through fourth grade village. It'll be the Harriet and Jeanette Weinberg Village. Oh. And they, that, those buildings will be the first permanent buildings on our campus since the school's inception. So it was a it was a very very big day for us. That's terrific. How many how many students? About three hundred fifty students. How many teachers? A little over a hundred. Wow. So yeah, which is one of the reasons that we're as successful as we are is because the teacher student ratio is so small, and it allows the teachers to really personalize the learning experience for the kids that we serve. Okay, great idea. So what's on the horizon for you guys? Well, when this phase is completed, we're going to continue um, raising money as best we can to rebuild the entire lower school campus, which is grades K through 8. We also have a a relatively new high school campus, which is um, the former Academy of the Pacific facility. Right. Right. Uh, up in Aleva Heights, yeah. absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous campus and incredibly serene. Um, but the buildings are aging. Some of them are close to 100 years old. And mm-hmm. over time, we're going to need to do a lot of work up there to keep it uh, in a manner that the kids deserve. Okay, so so much for traditional classrooms. Uh, when you're when you're looking for something for a unique student, you got assets. Um, exactly. And assets education for everybody who needs one. That would be that would be great. If somebody needs information, though, or they they want to donate, or they want to ask you if their kid or a kid they know is appropriate, how do they get in touch with you? Well, the first thing they should do is just is call the school, four two three one three five six, and they should actually speak with our admissions director Sandy Tadaki, who been with the school for many, many years, and she could walk any prospective parent or any individual that just wants to make an inquiry um, through the process and fill them in on exactly um, how our school may or may not be helpful to their child. That'd be great. Well, congratulations, Paul. That's, uh, that's, that's good. Things are moving along at Assets School. We appreciate you being on with us. Thank you so much. Paul Singer, head of school at Assets.